Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're at Sandstone Falls, West Virginia. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer should be a treat. I've had this one for a while, guys. This is Wirebacker Brewing. This is their 15, which is done for their 15th anniversary, which, if I'm not mistaken, that was in 2010. So, this beer is three years old, between two and three years old, depending on when they did it in 2010, whether it was beginning of the year or at the end of the year. So, <coughs> excuse me, this is in June, so... We're doing this one. This is a smoked imperial stout coming in at 10.8% alcohol by volume on this one, guys. And it has a date on the side of here when they, 1995 to 2010. So that's where I'm getting the 2010 because it doesn't have it written anywhere on the bottle anywhere. They may be dating them now, I am not sure. This beer is retired, of course, since they did it. They do one each year for their anniversary, so this was the one I'm pretty sure that was done in 2010. So, with that being said, it says an American Double Slash Imperial Stout. 10.8, food pairings on this one. The cheese, uh, it doesn't have this regular general there, it just has food pairings, it starts off with the cheeses. The cheeses are the buttery breed Gouda Havarti Swiss, and since it is that Imperial Stout, it's got the chocolate there for the uh, general. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Uh, just about anything. Uh, this is a strong beer, a heavy beer. It goes with your stronger dishes or even after after dinner, uh, like an aspartame. So, uh, the glass for the pint, Becker Stein, a tumbler mug, a snip, an oversized wine glass. We've got the double glass here for this one, guys. That's what I use for these monster beers. And the uh, beer can be sellered for as long as you want to sell it. At 10.8, it'll keep... Uh, 20 years. Uh, there's no reason if it's sold correctly why it will not keep. So with that being said, down to my last opener here guys. I'm going to get some more here. I'm going to talk to my buddy Brian Becker to BB Barfly. Get another round of them in here. I told him I was going to be ordering it and I told you I had ordered them but I haven't quite I haven't quite ordered them yet. I got to decide what colors I want to get this time. So let's get to play in the glass. I said, I'm pretty sure this one is between two and three years old, so hopefully the alcohol has calmed down just a little bit on this one, guys. I hope it has. I hope it's not real boozy. But we're about to find out here. About to find out. Over to the light. There is none. It is black, black, black. Pitch black, dark as night. No moon, no stars. Looks like an imperial stout. It really does. Uh, with that pour, we got about a finger of, I mean, a half a finger of head, which is pretty impressive for almost 11% beer. I wasn't expecting that at all. And I probably could have had a little more if I'd have poured this right straight down the middle. So let's get a nose on it. Oh, yeah. That smells wonderful. Chocolate, coffee. Maybe a little tobacco. This would go good with a cigar. And as a matter of fact, y'all know that I'm smoking cigars. That's about the humidor here. There's about 50 cigars in this thing now. There's probably $500 worth of cigars in this box now. That's how I do. When I get into something, I go overboard usually. I mean, I just go head first over into it. So that's the way it is on the cigars. This is what I'm liking now. These little Ashtons. Very nice. Uh, any of y'all that follow me on Facebook and see me post some pictures of I just did one the other day. It had a like a two, two and a half inch ash on it before I set it down. So it was a pretty nice cigar. Uh, uh, the wrapper and, and some of the tobacco they use that comes from Africa. So it's a rather rather exotic, nice spicy, peppery taste to it. So it'd go well with this, I believe. I might have to come back with a. I think I got a little one left in there from what I've been having today. So I might come back and do a puff or two with this and tell you how well it goes. Uh, I don't do a lot of. Uh, Meat pairings actually on camera as I do the beer reviews. I just don't have the room for that or the time, guys. I'm sorry. 
it smells very nice, very sweet. There is an alcohol presence there, but I don't think it's nowhere near what it was when it first was put in the bottle. Some dark fruit in there even too, and maybe some dates or figs or something. Chocolate and coffee and roasted malt, caramel and toffee is the major things that I'm getting. Let's give it a hit and see what we got. Cheers everybody. Happy anniversary, Wirebacker. Cheers. Oh my gosh. That has got such a smoky taste. That is awesome. That is almost as much smokiness as the Alaskan smoked porter. And that, that beer actually blows me away. And actually, Matt sent me a 2002 version of the Alaskan Smoke Porter. I've had the, I think I've had the 10 and the 12, but he sent me a 2002. That beer is 13 years old, no, 11 years old. Yeah, 11 years old. Wow. Like I said, when I did the beer mail, I don't know how long to sell that beer. I mean, it's, it's got to be ready to go, but man, it's 11 years old. I hate to open it. That's like popping the top on one of the Utopias back here. Maybe it'll sell for another 11 years, and then we'll try it when it's 22 years old. What do you think about that? Mm. I'm not getting the sm as much. Now that I've, I've tasted I am smelling some of that smoke or peatiness in the, in, the, in, the, in the nose. Yes, definitely there. Mm. 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 That is awesome. That may be the best Weyerbacher beer that I've ever tasted. Shout, big shout out to them. Wow. This is awesome. I think I have a 14 in there, so I can just imagine what that's going to be. I'll go see if I can dig that up and do that within the next week or two or, or, or whatever here. We'll get it in the fridge. And, and I don't think it's even in the upper fridge. It's might be one in the fridges downstairs. So, Oh, wow. This is delicious. Look at the lacing. It's bleeding straight down the glass right there. Guys, it's 40 degrees. It's just going to get better as it warms up. Stick around. Let's see where we end up on this one. I know it's a day beer. Let's see if it gets a 10. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. I don't have to say this is probably one of the best beers I've ever had from Weyerbacher. And I think I'm pretty sure I got a 14 down there, so it's a year older than this. So that should be extra tasty. What do you think, guys? Final chuck. So smoky, peaty, chocolatey, coffee, a little dark fruit, everything that you want in an Imperial style. Wow. It's definitely on the top ten fave list right now. So, I mean, that's a big thing for them. For somebody that that, uh, that I have uh, criticized on some of the beers that I've done from them recently, but... This is definitely a winner, guys. So it's gonna get. It's actually, I'm gonna give it to ten. It, it is that good. Now that it's been setting for almost three years, it is very tasty. I don't get, I know alcohol burn or anything from the ten point eight, almost eleven percent. So that's the whole objective of selling this, these big ABV beers to me is so the alcohol is not super intense, like you're drinking rubbing alcohol and it's burning as it goes down. And a lot of these are that way fresh. I'm not saying this one was. But I kind of like to, once they get to this size, I like to, I like to keep them in the fridge for just a little bit so they'll tame down. Because I've brewed some barley wines and some big beers, and you, you get that booziness unless it's done really, really well. Or it's been aged for a while where it calms down. And they get a little more complex, and they're more enjoyable to me, so that's why I do it. So, with that being said, I'm going to give it to 10. Uh, beer Abbott comes up with 90, which is in their outstanding range, and I'll agree, it's an outstanding beer. And, <clears throat> and the Rate Beer has 99 overall and 98 in the style. So the, the numbers don't get too much better than that, and I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt since I know uh, when this one came out, and it's an 11%, it's not going to go bad, so it's awesome. So if you picked up one of these, you got a winner on your hands. If you've had it, give me some comments back on this one. So let me know what you thought of it. I don't think you're going to see these sitting around on the shelf. You might get lucky. You never know. I mean, you might walk into a store and they'll have one sitting on the shelf and nobody's picked up by now. Or somebody will have one they'll trade you. I don't have another one. If I did, I wouldn't trade you. I'd save it for myself. Guys, that being said, hit the like button. Let's go see what's in the fridge more. See everybody then.